How's it going guys? Today we're going to talk about the prerequisite system. Now we're not going to cover the entire prerequisite system, there is a lot of flags to talk about there, but we're going to talk about just the flag prerequisite. So what is prerequisite exactly? Well, I could search it here in Notepad++. Oh, that is spelled wrong. I could search it here in Notepad++ and uh, we'll look here so we see the Soviet bunker and the prerequisite is some building. Well, I don't know what this is. Maybe we'll search that as well to find out. Uh, maybe add a square bracket to make the search a little bit faster. It's the construction yard. So yeah, we know that a barracks, in order to build a Soviet barracks, you need a Soviet construction yard, which makes sense. So let's play around with this a little bit. You're gonna see that everything, units, buildings, everything, are gonna have the flag prerequisite somewhere. So, uh, except for, well, a construction yard probably doesn't because it's a building. Uh, but the, the construction vehicle is going to have a prerequisite. So what if we play around with this a little bit? Let's say I want to be able to build an allied battle lab. Let's have a look at the allied battle lab for one second. Allied battle lab. All right, I found the allied battle lab. Now this has a prerequisite, some list of buildings. Now obviously I could look these up. Um, but let's say I want this to be able to be built right out of the Soviet MCV. All right, so we're gonna copy that in here into our map, our test map. Uh, it's usually good practice to copy the name as well. Either that or comment out. You could do a semicolon, which is a comment. The game will not read this line. And uh, just type this out, Allied Battle Lab, up here so that you know this is Allied Battle Lab. I'm sure some people know these by heart. I personally do not, so I try to keep track of the mods that I'm doing. And let's just uh, take this prerequisite flag, put it in here. And remember a second ago we looked for what this was. This was the Soviet MCV, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna, just going to take this, put it in here, and now we have the Allied Battle Lab. And the prerequisite for the Allied Battle Lab is just this. Let's give it a roll, shall we? So I'm going to save this, load it into the client here. And uh, le let's see what we got. Just going to run it as Soviet. Now hopefully, as soon as I deploy my MCV, I'll be able to build the ba Allied Battle Lab. And as you see, there it is. As a Soviet, one of the first things I could make is an Allied Battle Lab. A little bit absurd, but hey, it works. Alright, let's try this with another unit. Alright, let's take for example, the Battle Fortress. So Battle Fortress. There we go, we found the Battle Fortress. Now it has prerequisites. Right, this is the Allied uh, War Factory and this is the Allied Tech. So I'm just going to copy this in and let's say I want this guy to be available right after the Soviet War Factory. Right, all you need is a Soviet War Factory for this. So I need to find the Soviet War Factory. So Soviet, uh, I'm not sure War Factory is the way they call it, I don't think so. Oh, yes it is. Alright, so Soviet War Factory and this is what it's called. So I'm just going to copy this, put this in here. So prerequisite is now the Soviet War Factory. Let's save this and run it again. See if now, as soon as I make a Soviet War Factory, I can make a battle fortress out of it right away. So just gonna launch this game after loading the map back in. And we're gonna need to make, obviously, power, barracks, refinery. And this is all the prerequisites, right? You noticed, I needed, in order to build the power, I needed the MCV. In order to build the uh, barracks, I needed the power. In order to build the refinery, I needed the power. <coughs> now that I have the barracks and the refinery, I can make a weapons factory. And there we go. Right away, I can make a battle fortress. Alright. So, that is the prerequisite system. There is one more thing we should go over here. And that is that there is an option for a bit of a shortcut. So... There are things listed under one category. If I go to rules and data and I, and I search, for example, prerequisite power, prerequisite power, right? So it takes me to these lists, right? So there's prerequisite power, prerequisite factory, prerequisite barracks, prerequisite radar. So I'll give you an example of why this is necessary. Now, in prerequisite power, right, you're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of types of power. This is the Allied power, this is the Soviet power plant, this is the nuclear Soviet power plant, and this is the URI power plant. Now, in this case, what I can do is just, let's take, for example, the Allied tech and just write 
power like this all right this is going to be tell him listen anything on this list if you got it you can make it what's the point of this so for example when we wanted to make a soviet barracks we needed a soviet power plant but what happens when you get a nuclear power plant and you sell all of your regular power plants you should still be able to make a barracks right or maybe you know all you need is power to build buildings so why not an allied power plant so that's why there's under these categories right factory is war factories barracks any radar will do right these are all the types of radars uh tech these are all the the, the battle labs right and uh, these are the refineries proc is refineries all right so uh let's try this for a second i just put down power i'm gonna run the load it in and run it again let's see if we can make the battle lab right away because we changed the prerequisite to power in general which means with any power plant we should be able to make the allied battle lab let's just make sure this worked we're going to try one more experiment here i'm going to swap over to yuri and let's see if i make the yuri power plant can i make the allied battle lab right afterwards so just yuri's making the power plant and there it is the allied battle lab so these are lists that are pre-made. You can add buildings to these lists. You can remove buildings from these lists, right? Uh, let's say you create a new power plant and you want to add it to the list of power, right? So you'll just put a colon here and, you know, type uh, my power, the new building you created. Obviously, we're going to get into make, creating your own buildings in a different tutorial. And that is it for today, guys. I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time.